Hey, hi, your brain lies, the cue ball does not. So this came up this week and I want to talk about this. This is probably going to be a pretty short one, but I wanted to talk to you guys about how to process your stroke, your aim, your sight, and how to be honest about what's going on and how to find out to, to get accurate feedback. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple examples or pointers on how do you know that your brain is lying to you and, and then how to maybe counteract that through training. So that I'm gonna give you my two examples and we're just gonna go from there. Okay, so example one, was with the stroke this week at training on Thursday night. A couple dudes were training and I jumped back to talk to them and train with them. And we were hitting a shot. And the shot was a very simple strike on the cue ball, okay? And the shot called for, like this is your center axis, right? The shot called for pretty much this. Okay, strike. And it was meant to get the cue ball to go straight back down table accurately. And what happened was, you know, the shot was a ball here and the cue ball was here, nine ball was here and the eight ball was here down here on the table, right? Okay, you got it. So what I wanted them to learn was this rolling ball with just a tiny bit of outside to come, it was, you know, <laughs> it was come down straighter like this into this zone here and to bounce off for a new angle on the eight ball. Okay? And so what was happening was that's the strike. I mean, obviously this isn't to scale, but that was the strike that was needed. And so I was able to just set the shot up and strike it and set the shot up and strike it and talk and be distracted and set the shot up and strike it. And then we would go back and this is what happens during training and we were seeing that they were hitting this rail. Okay. And the reason why they're hitting that rail is because they were putting lower English on it and they were putting, it was exaggerating their right, their left spin. So they were striking more in this range here, okay? And that was causing this line to change to this situation, okay? And it's a big difference. Striking the ball here and striking the ball here is a big difference. Striking the ball here, even in some of these zones over here, if you're not accurate, can be a big difference in the shot, especially when you're talking about a very precise shot. To get to not scratch, and to get to not hit this ball, this has to be rolled very with a lot of precision, okay? With the strike and the cut and everything like that. And when you start hitting the ball with unintentional spin, meaning lower spin or stun or more right or left than you think, it, you cannot even execute a rolling shot. So what was happening was they were hitting this range. So I looked at their stroke and I was watching from the side and I, from the side I was seeing this with their cue, this angle here. Like let's call this level, okay? Their cue was coming at a downward strike. And I was like, you need to hit the ball higher, okay? And you need to potentially level out your cue. I didn't want to do everything at once, but like we need to strike the ball higher. So I'm like, you're striking it too low. They're like, no way, I'm putting follow on it. I'm putting follow, I swear I'm hitting as high as I can. And this happens with low. I'm hitting as low as I can. I'm hitting as right as I can. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying this is very, very, very normal. And so we're working through this process and I'm trying to explain to you, we're gonna to get to the, the, uh, the how do we know that our brain is lying to us and the cue ball is not, is that their brain was telling them that this was level and their brain was telling them that that level that that was level which was not true and their brain was telling them that's as high as I can hit the ball 
because their hand was back here, up high, you know, so they were equating this in their brain with, with the strike, and it wasn't true. The strike, with their hand here grabbing the cue, their strike was down, and it was hitting a stun. And so their brain was telling them, I'm level, I'm hitting with high, but the reality was, from the side, I could see that they're, the way that things were, and then the cue ball does not lie. The cue ball does not lie. They were hitting here, 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 here. And it does, the cue ball is telling us the truth because I set up the shot and I hit here to here and here to here and here to here. And it's like, because I was hitting it high and I was hitting it accurate. And the cue ball was telling us the truth, okay? So that's, but, but I'm gonna get to the point of the correction, okay? And this is also how your brain lies, but we learn through the cue ball, okay? Their brain was telling them that this was level and this was a high strike, okay? What we did was they had to drop their hand down to get the cue to true level and then just have a little bit of an angle up, just a tiny micro adjustment up for high ball. So what I told them was, and this is what I'm telling you guys now, that is critical to understand about your body and how your mind works versus what's what telling you your sight picture in your brain versus what's actually physically happening i'm going to tell you a trick right now or a secret about hitting the ball with follow the way i learned how to hit the ball with follow accurately to be able to load the ball and strike it with a level cue and an accurate, powerful stroke with very little effort. This is my level, okay? In my brain, when I'm shooting, this is how my cue feels. If this is the cue ball, right? I'll do it over here, okay? This is my level in my brain, okay? This, this, is, this is how it feels. When I feel like my cue's in that position, I know that I'm level and I know that I'm striking high on the ball, okay? My reality is, in my re the actual reality is, let's change it to this, okay? This, this is the dotted line of like, what I think is happening. This is my reality. Level, accurate. That's how it feels in my mind, in my brain. That's what my brain's telling me is happening. I don't know, this isn't perfectly level. You, this, okay, whatever, I'll break out of something. But that's, that's, that's a level line. That's not even a downward line. It, whatever, you get it. My reality is perfect parallel. My brain is telling me this. So when I, my brain tells me this, this is how I know I'm in hitting position for, for my follow shots. Okay, is when I know that I feel uncomfortable or feels like I'm going up at an upward angle. Now, I consciously worked on that and developed that and understood that. Okay, and then I looked, not even through videos, I said, hey guys, we were training, well, us three were training, they were both hitting like this. And I was training and I said, and I knew when I was down and I was hitting the shot, I felt like this, but I knew I was actually this. So here I am in my brain going like this with my cue, and I said, okay, step around, bro, and tell me, do you think it's level? And the guy goes, you're perfectly level. I go, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now in my brain, this is how it feels. And I know that's my level. So now I'm ready to strike. I'm ready to hit the ball accurately. And I'm telling you that that's a powerful tool, okay? Because just because your brain thinks that, that uh, this is level, if it, in reality this is level, your brain is lying to you. You have to go with what the truth is. The truth is that you're, when I'm level, I feel this, and it's actually this. And so I go with the truth. And so I don't go with what my brain tells me, I go with what the cue ball is telling me. And 
even when it comes to like setting up on my on my angles for my stroke and things, it's very critical that you go through this process and figure out how this works. Okay, now it's easier when I'm standing five feet away from you and I'm deeply engaged and I can watch you and literally show you one shot at a time, me, you, me, you, the guy next to you when we're doing training, whatever, whether it's individual lessons or group lessons, shameless plug, but it's true. That's how you, that's how you can learn this stuff. So I can tell you this stuff now, you could please go work on it and, and see if it makes sense to you. And if it doesn't make sense, you do not do it because I don't want to do, I don't want anybody doing stuff that doesn't make sense and that could mess them up, right? But I'm telling you that this is powerful and this is a game changer and I literally watch it pe change people's games every single time I train them. So I'm giving you this information for free and you know, I, I thought about, well, is that stupid? <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? 100 people are gonna watch this maybe, and maybe 10% of them are actually gonna like, be able to do it and, and, and be connected and trust it and not let them screw them up. So this isn't an aiming system. This is a nothing system. This is a, this is a cue ball doesn't lie. What is your reality? And if you wanna break out the video cameras, that's fine. We don't need video cameras here. We have tons of cameras now and we're doing streaming and yay, this is awesome. And we're gonna be doing our training live and that's gonna be really cool. That's super upcoming. But you don't really even need a camera if you got a couple of bros with you and you're training and you know what you're looking for. So that's what we did. We worked together and we figured this out. And these guys both realized when they were feeling like this, it was more level and they were getting a real true, true hit, a very true hit. So that's first thing on the, on the level with the, with the stroke, okay? Now, We'll talk about the cue ball not lying on the strike, okay? Very similar situation. This is with, this is with Chris from the club here. Um, we were working. We were shooting a shot. And I had Chris shooting this shot here, okay? And it was just a ball out in space, cue ball here. We were trying to get him to just follow this natural angle to here, right back down table. Chris kept coming here and even scratched sometimes in this pocket, right? He was, he scratched, he was hitting here, hitting here, hitting here, okay? Why was Chris hitting there? The cue ball doesn't lie. Okay, I watched him and I'm like, bro, you're not, you're hitting right English on it. You can't hit right English on it. This is a natural following center stroke uh, cut. And depending on where we enter the pocket is gonna be the most amount of adjustment we want on the angle. Because when we start adding unwanted spin, we start moving out farther on our, on our scatter or spread of where the cue ball is gonna land. And if we can go with a center, then all the variable that we have is how thick or thin we put in the pocket. And that's a lot tighter, tighter sort of scatter down here. So, I'm watching Chris, and I'm like, bro, you're hitting with right English. And I'll just cut to the chase. He's like, no, I'm not. He goes, no, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, you are, okay. Well, he wasn't like arguing. He was just like, I, I don't see it. Like, I don't see it. I feel like I'm lined up right. So I go, okay, show me on the ball. Show me where your center is, Chris, okay? And I stood behind him. This is my center. And I'm like, no. Cue ball doesn't lie. That's right. I can see it. The cue ball is telling me the truth, telling you the truth. So it's more than just me standing behind you and seeing it. Like the cue ball is not lying. You are hitting over here. I am hitting here. And so what I did was I said, I lined him up, got his tip right here. I said, that's your center, Chris. That's your center. That's your true center. He goes, no, that's inside. That's inside. That's inside. And I'm like, no, because in his mind, his mind was lying to him. And his mind was telling him that center was right here, right? And I'm like, 
no, sorry, that's not correct. You need to just, let's hit some shots. We weren't arguing, it, was just, it, was, it wasn't frustrating or anything. I don't mean to sound that way. I'm just like, no, that's not correct. Like, this is your true center. So I just had him hit shots with that true center. And lo and behold, he hit the shot into this area. And every single time he hit the shot in the area, when he got down, he told me, I am loading center. And I'm like, no, you're not. You just please strike the ball there. Okay? And he did it, and it worked. And he, uh, he was learning where his true center is, not where his brain is lying to him, telling him where a center strike is. The cue ball was telling him where a center strike is. So then he says, it feels like I'm hitting inside English. And I'm like, no, you're not, because you're actually following the center strike. Inside English would have, you know, changed it to a scratch or something. So what happened was, it was really cool. He went home and he started working and he hit a hundred shots and tried to anchor where his true center is. And then he sent me a text and he's like, bro, it was awesome, it was game changing. And I went to league and I pocketed the balls as best I've ever pocketed them and I played the best position I've ever played. And, and it was really, really, really exciting. And so that's what I want to share with you guys is that your brain lies, the cue ball doesn't, and most of the time, almost all the time, when I'm working with people, it's what you think is happening is not really happening. And we have to slow things down and we have to look at these things and say, okay, I don't care about all this external crap. This is why I'm saying process, process, process. We have to slow things down and look at what's happening in order for us to learn what's going on. And so that's what's so fun about training is that I get to bump around from table to table and say, this is what's actually happening. I'm sorry, I'll show you and we can correct and we can move forward and then they can try to start learning. But it's a, it's a, it's a process that I want you guys to be able to learn on your own too. You know, obviously I make money coaching and training and, deal, and teaching this stuff. So if you want, I'll show you more directly how to do this. You can like, I'm a hundred bucks for 75 minutes and worked with a guy yesterday on, uh, you know, he called me and said he wanted to work on his stroke. Well, first we did his pre-shot routine because he, he needed a pre-shot routine and he wanted to do that. So that was great because that sets you up for your stroke. And then we hit an inside follow shot with three rails and, you know, it's like literally within 30 minutes, the guy's just smoothing the ball like a professional. And now it's up to him to continue to like, take that energy and excitement and knowledge and to go train and move forward with it. But for me, that's like what I love. Like I love showing people, teaching people how to do that. And I'm super confident, like I can just do it. I mean, very, very rarely can I not help somebody in a half hour. I charge for 75 minutes because I want to be able to show them how to train and how to anchor the stuff and, you know, visualize and all that stuff. But, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's fun, it's cool, I love it. So, and I can share this stuff for free with you guys, that's fine. Um, because it's hard to implement, that's it. It's hard to implement. It's easy to know these things potentially, even though I never heard this from anyone coming up. There's no, you know, players that shared this with me. I just sort of figured this out over the last, you know, I don't know man, like, I've, I've known it for a while, but I actually figured it out so where I could put words to it for you guys, just real recent. Um, but I've been doing this, working on this. When I do these 50, 80 trainings and I hit two, three hundred shots, and I, that, this is part of how I learned this stuff, is because when I'm hitting the same shot over and over and I'm not getting the result I need, I understand that my strike is off. And if my strike is off, the, my brain is lying to me and the cue ball is not, and so this is how this got developed. This didn't just like poof came into my head and here it is magically and now we're ready to start, you know, testing it out on people. No, it's like I have thousands of shots with this and this has changed my game. It has changed my game and my understanding of cue ball and my stroke and how to hit the, 
the stroke more accurately and how to hit it where I'm intending and not where my brain thinks it's supposed to go. That's why when people call me and they're like, man, I just have a wrist problem or I got something with my stance or I've got all these other mechanical things and, and, and I'm not making fun of them. I'm saying, I get it. It's, it's a sea of information out there and it's a, it can be really, um, especially for analytical people, it can be a complete rabbit hole, especially with YouTube and all this stuff because everyone's out there trying to grab content share and just create information and, and there's people out there wanting to get better and I, I get it, it's, it's, it's a fun game and it's cool to learn but I just, I just want to keep people, do my thing to try to help people, you know, stay out of those rabbit holes because it's not about if I have a perfect stroke, then everything's great. It's about what is my stroke do? What, okay, let's have this conversation for a second. What if it's not about having a perfect stroke? What if your stroke is already perfect, but your brain is not telling you the truth? about where your stroke is. It's like, well then, you don't have to work on your stroke anymore, you have to go find out what the cue ball is telling you and listen to the cue ball and stop Mr. Lying Brain from telling you what's going on. Sabotaging SOB, the brain. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically it. It's like the cue ball will tell you the truth. Make the cue ball your truth teller. Make the cue ball your, your coach, you know? The cue ball will tell you the truth. Your brain, your brain will not. Because your brain, your brain wants to do what's easy. Your brain wants to do what's comfortable. Your brain wants to do what fits your ego. Your brain wants to lead you down all these paths, you know, based on past damage and all this nonsense. It's like, it's got all these weird narratives and ideas and it, and it just messes you up. And I'm telling you, the cue ball does not. It's an inanimate object and it's very truthful with you. When you hit it, it's either gonna do it, what, what, it's, what, what it's supposed to do or it's not. And it's not the cue ball's fault and uh, it's your brain's fault because your brain's telling you that, that <laughs> this is level. My brain tells me on a follow shot that this is level. The difference is, I don't, I don't trust my brain, I don't, I don't believe in it. Because I believe in the actual, I know, hey Mr. Brain, this feels like this, but ha ha Mr. Brain, I win because I know, I know that this is this. So when I get into this hitting position on a follow shot, I know I'm good Mr. Brain, you're not gonna win this one. I'm hitting level. Eat a bag of crap, Mr. Brain. <laughs> So, so that's it. That's it. Just stop listening to your brain and listen to cue ball and the message. All right. Well, if you want to come into training Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's getting busy. It's getting busy. You might have to join the club, honestly, at some point. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to ooh. I'm just being honest. Like, training is going awesome and people love it. And I love having guests in, it's great. Um, but if you were ever thinking about doing training as a guest, come in now because there might be a time where this thing gets booked out for months and it's for members mostly, you know, they're gonna get first dibs and our members train. They train, that's it, they flat out train and they love it and training is super fun and you can ask anyone that's been here, they're just, I mean, like, I think I'm batting 1,000 a, a on training, people coming in. I don't, I don't think I've ever had anyone come in and not be like, that was really sweet, that was awesome. I learned a bunch of stuff and that was super fun. So, yeah, that's it. And then if you wanna train with me, come train with me. You know, I'll train you. I'll do 75 minutes with you. I'll show you this stuff. It's easy. It really is, it's, it's not hard. You just, you just gotta have, a, you just gotta, just gotta do, do it, do it, yeah. I'm working with this dude yesterday, 60 year old guy, uh, ish member, wants to get good. He's like, I just push my chips in with you. I want to, I want to learn what you have. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. We were working yesterday and I showed him how to hit the ball like a professional player within 30 minutes. And that is real. And that is 
really, really, really awesome. And so on my own testimony, I'm very confident, man. You come in here and I'll show you how to, how to hit the ball. Yep. Especially if you've been playing a long time and you're, and you're kind of like, I don't understand, I'm lost. That, that's easy for me because you've hit so many shots. If you're open-minded and you're somewhat athletic, we can get you striking the ball because I will sit there and I will show you shot by shot by shot by shot by shot with the same shot. This is what you do. This, nope, this is what you do. Nope, this is what you're not doing. This is what we do. Now I'll show you. See that? Oh yes, I can do that. It's a super easy process. We do it in less than an hour. So now that doesn't set you up for life. It's not an aiming system where you're secretly just like so much better all of a sudden. It's just, you know, you're gonna like it. You're gonna play better. You're gonna understand some of the stuff that's going on, some of these lies and some of these truths through the cue ball. And it's gonna be awesome. And it is awesome. So yeah. And if you want to do that, hit me up because I'm getting busier and busier. So look at me. I got all these uh, sales tactics. What do they call it? The uh, takeaway clothes or the scarcity clothes. I'm hitting you with the scarcity. Better, better sign up now. Sign up now and take lessons now because eventually you won't be able to get to me. So whatever. Take it for what it's worth. I'm just telling you. Being real. All right, guys. Hey, look at I squeezed 26 minutes out of this thing. I know they're probably better at 15 or whatever, I, I think, for people watching, but I'm not about clicks and views and things. I'm about teaching you guys how to do this stuff. That's what's exciting for me. I don't care about the other stuff. It's just nonsense. Okay, talk to you next time. <laughs>